2018 Chevrolet Equinox Review. In 2016, the Chevrolet Equinox outsold any vehicle in GM's lineup except the Silverado pickup. Not a bad year, though the Equinox still didn't do along with its competitors from Ford, Honda, Nissan and Toyota. That's not a total surprise considering that the segment favors the most recent, as well as the Equinox has stayed pretty much the same since 2010. We appreciated the last model for the copious interior and cargo room, but it really was payoff. The Equinox was uncompetitive regarding performance, comfort and value. The changes together with the debut on the redesigned 2018 Chevrolet Equinox. The new Equinox is smaller and lighter compared to vehicle it replaces, this is powered exclusively by turbocharged four-cylinder engines with standard engine stop-start technology. Chevy says one of the most economical of such, an optional 1.6-litre diesel engine, will achieve an amazing 40 miles per gallon on the road. Even if you don't opt for the diesel option, the typical engines all deliver improved fuel economy figures compared to the first sort Equinox. The downsizing has barely impacted the Equinox's spacious interior. There's a good amount of legroom for tall passengers in every outboard seats, although the panoramic sunroof reduces headroom for people in the back, and also the back seats fold flat for the pull of your lever to raise the size with the cargo area to 63.5 cubic feet. You'll appreciate any additional space since the 29.9 cubic feet behind the trunk seats is smaller than most on this class. The Equinox features lots of advanced safety equipment, from standard items for example a rear view camera and Chevy's team driver reporting feature with a top down parking camera system and lane departure warning and intervention. Tech features are abundant, with every Equinox boasting a touchscreen display and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. The Equinox is not essentially the most exciting compact crossover they are driving. However it is one with the best all-rounders from the class. If you can click beyond its small cargo area, you will be rewarded using a comfortable ride, roomy cabin and one on the best touchscreen systems inside the business. Notably, we pick the 2018 Chevrolet Equinox as one of best small SUVs due to this year. What's new for 2018? The 2018 Chevrolet Equinox is fully redesigned for 2018. It's slightly smaller overall in comparison to its predecessor, though the reduced weight coupled with more efficient engines pay off in the pump. The L is a wonderful deal, but it really sits own order only model which means you won't find it with the dealership. The LS is more expensive and doesn't add much, so better to skip on the mid-grade LT. Its slight price bump from your LS is justified with the inclusion of Xenon headlights, an electric driver's seat and tinted windows. It also opens the door towards the confidence and convenience package, which adds advanced safety equipment and several luxury features. Trim levels and features The base L model appears like a great deal, and soon you realize that it is a custom order model you could to wait so that it is built. You'll find the LS at practically any dealer, however it doesn't offer much more compared to L for your added price. Best to skip straight for the LT, that is just a bit higher priced and includes more features and usage of additional options. If you want the LT as well as its two packages, the leather trim premier includes all of it. Three engines can be obtained on the Equinox. The standard engine can be a turbocharged 1.5-litre four-cylinder 170 horsepower, 203 pound-feet of torque match to your six-speed automatic transmission. A more powerful turbocharged 2.0-litre engine 252 horsepower, 260 lbfd is optional and comes standard using a nine-speed automatic transmission.
Also optional is our fan of fuel efficient 1.6 liter diesel 137 horsepower 240 lbft meter to your 6 speed automatic. The 1.5 liter engine would be the only engine currently available. The optional engines differently won't be offered until later within the model year. Until there exists a better understanding on the features offered in conjunction while using selection with a diesel and a couple of .0 liter engines, the subsequent trim breakdown applies solely to your 1.5 liter engine. The front driven e is well equipped, and yes it comes standard with 17 inch alloy wheels, automatic headlights, LED daytime running lights, a fuel serving engine stop start system, a rear view camera, heated mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, a motorist information display, height adjustable front seats, a tilt handless coping tire, Chevrolet's teen driver watchdog modes, Bluetooth, on star with 4G LTE connectivity and Wi-Fi hotspot, a 7-inch touchscreen along with a 6-speaker audio system having a USB port, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's a built to the trim, however, so that you're probably going to begin to see the next level LS on dealer lots. It's pricier and does not add much besides rear floor mats, an additional tire, a tire jack as well as a digital compass. It does open the entranceway to an expanded variety of exterior colors and use of all wheel drive, however, making it worth considering if you wish the least expensive AWD model. Stepping up to your LT adds Xenon headlights, rear privacy glass, a leather wrapped shift knob, an 8-way power driver seat with tower lumbar adjustment, auxiliary rear seat release levers and satellite radio. The LT offers two notable feature packages. The sun and infotainment package adds a panoramic sunroof, a substitute driver information display, an 8-inch touch screen, an additional USB port from the front, two USB ports within the armrest bin as well as charging USB ports with the spine. The confidence and convenience package has rear parking sensors, an electrical liftgate, remote engine start, a leather wrapped controls, dual zone automatic climate control, heated front seats, rear cross traffic alert, and blind spot monitoring that detects rapidly approaching cars within the next lane. Finally, the range topping premiere includes the aforementioned packages without worrying about panoramic sunroof, that is added separately, in conjunction with 18-inch wheels, LED headlights and taillights, fog lights, auto-dimming mirrors, roof rails, a hands-free liftgate, chrome exterior trim, ambient interior lighting, driver seat memory settings, perforated leather upholstery and wireless device charging. Even the top trim Premier leaves some goodies within the table. Standard on our wheel drive models and optional for front wheel drive models will be the feature heavy confidence and convenience 2 package. It adds automatic high beam control, a top down, 360 degree parking camera system, a heated tire, an 8 way power passenger seat, ventilated front seats, heated rear outboard seats lane departure warning and mitigation, Chevy safety alert seat, a meter that measures the space with time between you and also the car in front, and forward collision alert with automatic emergency braking at low speeds. The sun, sound and navigation package builds on the surface of this package with 19 inch wheels, the panoramic sunroof, navigation plus a 7 speaker Bose speakers with HD radio. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically is available in multiple versions which might be fundamentally similar. The S within this review depend on our full test on a 2018 Chevrolet Equinox Premier Turbo 2.0 liters inline 4, 9 speed automatic, FWD. Looks feel nice and dependable. The pedal effort is appropriate just for this kind of vehicle, and solution is neither grubby nor lazy. It just feels right. Our Equinox executed an anxiety stop from 60 miles per hour in 115 feet, an excellent result inside compact SUV class. Steering, 
steering effort is the thing that we expect coming from a small crossover, with low effort at parking speeds plus much more weighting at highway speeds. The vehicle tracks straight of all surfaces, and ample on center field creates a relaxing drive. But we noticed some squirm on roads with longitudinal rain grooves. Handling, the Equinox is surprisingly capable and balanced with a challenging twisty road. The handling limits are surprisingly high and approachable during these conditions, and it is just about as fun drive an automobile as the class-leading Mazda CX-5. Drivability, we're deducting points to have an unusually large turning circle. Multi-point turns can be a common occurrence with this particular car on streets where rivals can produce a simple U-turn. We noticed this when nosing into crowded parking lots, too. Comfort, aside on the poorly placed air vents for the dash and also the rather stifling leather upholstery, the Equinox gets high marks for comfort. Driving for many people hours on end won't cause any undue fatigue. All things considered, it's much like other SUVs in side class. Seat comfort, the front seats are well shaped for too long hours about the road, although lumbar adjustment seemed a tad too low, pushing for the top on the hips. Cushioning is adequate, though the perforated leather didn't breathe well without the ventilation activated. The rear seats offer good thigh support. Ride comfort, the most ruts and bumps are well absorbed through the compliant suspension. The car feels remarkably solid around the road without the harshness. This is especially impressive if you think how well the Equinox handles. Noise and vibration, road and wind noise is noticeable however, not at all intrusive. On paper. It's as comparably quiet because Honda CRV, however in practice it sounds marginally louder. Climate control, the vertical vents flanking the touchscreen perform a poor job of distributing air. The only part in the driver they will cool will be the knuckles. The ventilated seats work well at lowering the stifling nature with the leather upholstery. Interior, the Equinox interior will attract and mostly well configured. But we may prefer the leader to telescope further and require the panoramic sunroof fosent as intrusive for rear passengers. Ease of use, the touchscreen is awkwardly angled away, rendering it prone to catching glare and obscuring the display. Otherwise, the layout on the controls is logical, and OPLA many systems is reasonably intuitive. Getting and jetting out. The steep in height is low enough for smaller passengers to penetrate with minimal effort, plus the doors are sufficiently little to open wide and tight parking spaces. But the bottom edge on the doors are lower and at risk from scraping on high curbs. Driving position, fear is a good choice of seat adjustment, however the steering wheel doesn't telescope far enough for average size adult drivers, forcing those to sit closer plus more upright than most prefer. Roominess, fears an abundance of room beforehand, but rear seat headroom is limited with the panoramic sunroof. Unfortunately, that sunroof is mandatory if you would like to add the navigation system or premium audio. Visibility, the front roof pillar is usually a bit thicker than you will discover in rivals, somewhat obstructing the vista through left turns. Visibility out of the sides and back as usual for other compact SUVs, by incorporating reliance for the rear view camera necessary for tight spots. Quality, the interior materials quality is disappointing to the class and more so the fact that how expensive the Equinox is. Hard plastics are certainly one thing, however the textures are mismatched plus there is a definite down market feel and look. They were this all around getting it right, too. Utility, while the Equinox doesn't always have an abundance of cargo space when compared with rivals, it ought to still handle the bulk of everyday hauling. When you concentrate on some with the thoughtful features, you can give it a nod to the lack of on-paper capacity. Small item storage, there are an abundance of bins, pockets and trays to secure your personal effects.
The trays for self owns are particularly helpful with rubberized coverings to hold objects constantly in place. Cargo space, in relation to its cargo capacity, the Equinox is slightly substandard, but we presume there is a good amount of space. Still, it's well below the capacity in the Ford Escape, the Honda CRV, as well as the Toyota RAV4. The self holding rear seats and underfloor storage are praiseworthy additions. Child safety seat accommodation the latch anchors are super easy to find and hook around, and there's a lot of space for forward facing seats. Rear facing seats for 12 should the passenger seated ahead doesn't slide the seat in the last third of seat travel. Technology Chevrolet gets high marks for tech, curing many on the ills that plagued past models. It has a good amount of features which are standard during the entire lineup, as well as the inclusion of six USB ports ensures all devices are going to be charged. Audio and navigation, the MyLink infotainment method is easy to use and packed with a lot of features, plus the screen has sharpened modern graphics. The optional Bose Premium Audio is surprisingly powerful with excellent clarity. Smartphone integration. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard equipment. There were no glitches to communicate of, this is more intuitive as opposed to my link system. It's a good substitute to the optional navigation system that makes you add the panoramic sunroof. Also, you will find six USB ports. Yeah. <laughs>